again, Israeli politics is generally very stable, very little changes here. There is a sense, true popular protest in the air. I don't know if it will bring about new elections. I, I doubt it will bring Netanyahu to resign. But the Americans may be looking at these protests and understanding that Netanyahu is now weak and can be pressured into signing a deal. That seems to me uh, a likely outcome. The movement is quite widespread. Previously, protests were identified with the opposition to the government, but now uh, protesters seem to include people who traditionally are considered supporters of the government. It's still not grossing national movement. It still doesn't include all Israelis, but it is larger than it once was. Uh, there are no demands as of yet. The one demand is that the prime minister sign a hostage deal. He doesn't seem to be so inclined. He is reluctant, but there's a lot of political pressure being put on him by these protests. And the most important thing is that these protests are continuing and only growing larger. There are protests being held this evening. We have no idea what will happen tomorrow. Israel has never been in this place. This is new. But again, the important thing is that these protests seem to be uh, the most organic, the most popular the protests in Israel have been for uh, at least two years. Uh, the Israeli military and security establishment have a very complex role. On the one hand, they oppose the prime minister's policy. They believe that a deal should be reached. They said so even overtly on public media. On the other hand, they are still carrying out the war slash genocide in Gaza. It is also their role. So they are engaged on both sides of the equation. On the one hand, they have said that they support stopping the war uh, if only for several weeks to carry out a hostage deal. But they are also the ones who are carrying out, on with the war. And uh, tens of thousands of Israelis are serving as part of the armed forces. So that is also an issue. There are people who may support a hostage deal, but are currently serving as part of the military reserves in Gaza. So a complicated role, both sides of the equation. It's again, a very difficult question. I don't know what the final results will be because this is new ground for Israel. I am recognizing the change, something that's shifted over the last two days in Israeli public consciousness. Uh, right now, it's what the Americans call a game of chicken. The prime minister and his government are attempting to hold their course. There is a lot of resentment, a lot of anger, a lot of fear among the general public. It remains to be seen whether this will affect the prime minister. It might also affect more junior politicians, but the prime minister's majority is currently four or five seats in the parliament. If uh, there are enough parliamentarians from his coalition who will switch allegiances, then his government might fall uh, through a parliamentary vote of no confidence. The real truth is, nobody knows. Uh, for two years, Israelis have been protesting against this prime minister. They have never been this angry and this politically charged. The protest is very intense, but also very confused. Israelis don't quite know what to make of it and how to carry on. That has, of course, to do a lot with the fact that most Israelis can't see an alternative to a war in Gaza. Uh, and they have a dilemma. They really don't like and don't trust the prime minister, but his policies still appear sensible to them. For a long time, this has made the protests against him sterile. It was very obvious that nothing will come out of them. Now there is a lot of anger at his government's disregard for the welfare of the hostages. The six hostages who were found dead on Saturday had been killed minutes before the soldiers got to them. There is a sense that any Israeli could have been in their place, that they weren't casualties of war. The casualties of incompetence, it remains to be seen where this anger will be. It's a good question. I think it isn't really up to Netanyahu. I think it's up to the Americans. If the Americans really apply the pressure to Netanyahu, they seem to be expanding their pressure. Uh, Biden has for the first time said he doesn't think Netanyahu is doing enough, which I know sounds like very mild criticism, but for Biden and for the United States, it's very harsh criticism. If the Americans turn up the volume, then they will be able, I think, to force Netanyahu to sign a deal, uh, regardless of his coalition. I think Netanyahu, in his heart of hearts, knows that if he signs a deal, he actually has a better chance of remaining prime minister because most Israelis, once again, support his war, uh, but also want a deal signed. If he signs a deal, he will appear as the leader who signed a deal that will quite reasonably help him strengthen his status towards an election that must follow such a decision. If he decides to sign a deal, I have no doubt he will disband parliament and call a snap election.
Resolution is possible. I think a lot of it has to do with Netanyahu uh, being voted out of office or leaving office. I don't know if that will happen. This, the status quo in Gaza is horrible. It's not even a humanitarian crisis. I think of it as a genocide, and I think a lot of people would agree with me. Israel is killing dozens and dozens, sometimes hundreds of Palestinians a day in Gaza uh, for no particular reason except for an imperative to continue to operate. Something is going to give sometime soon. The situation is not tenable. It cannot continue for weeks and weeks. There are commentators who are saying that this can continue until the American election in uh, November. I doubt that is true. Uh, I think we're going to see something change over the next two or three weeks. I can't really predict in what way. The main reason being that, again, Israeli politics is generally very stable, very little changes here. There is a sense of true popular protest in the air. I don't know if it will bring about new elections. I, I doubt it will bring Netanyahu to resign. But the Americans may be looking at these protests and understanding that Netanyahu is now weak and can be pressured into signing a deal. That seems to me uh, a likely outcome.